types of music fandoms on online communities by Sophia Lee. I'd like to start off my presentation by comparing two different music artists, Franz Liszt and Shawn Mendes. Liszt was known for his piano concerts in the 19th century, where his audience would fight over his gloves and broken piano strings. According to the New Yorker, this phenomenon was called Lissomania. Today, Shawn Mendes is a pop icon who's known for his recent music and performing all over the world for thousands of fans at a time. He also has a dedicated fandom or community of fans that goes by many names, such as the Mendes, Menders, or Shawnees, to name a few. Unlike List, his fans don't have to wait for a concert to meet. They can now con connect online. With the use of the internet, fandoms have become their own identities, which can be separate from the artist. However, this means that the activities of these communities are left almost entirely unregulated. So I decided to research. How can online music fandoms be a productive and safe environment for fans and non-fans alike? First of all, how is it possible for an artist to gain such a strong following? Many popular artists are able to voice their opinions and advocate for fans through their music. For example, Taylor Swift recently wrote her LGBTQ plus anthem, You Need to Calm Down. Bustle Magazine wrote, Why are you mad when you could be glad? It's a direct ad address to homophobic people and the anthem for LGBTQ community, indicated by the spelling in the song's lyric video of GLAAD rather than glad. By showing support for glad, a pro-LGBTQ plus organization that focuses on accurate representation in the media, Swift allows fans to believe in her philanthropic nature. Why are people in online communities? The photographer Amy Lombard has taken pho photos of many online meetups in real life. For example, this is a picture of an online meetup for people with red hair. However, Lombard has observed that almost all fandoms share a common trait. What these groups have in common is that they all yearn for a sense of com community. These are things that are important to them, and they have a desire to share it with others. Why do fans get so invested in a certain interest? After having so many memorable experiences surrounding a topic, fans tend to form an emotional bond with the content. My stimulus packet source demonstrated a similar sense of devotion that, that occurs with video game players. <clears throat> These players hold on to their beloved games as long as they can, because to them, they are more than just games. For players, the apocalypse is, of course, not real, but nevertheless imparts a real experience of what the apocalypse might be like, to see a world they have come to care about lose its ability to be. How can online fan fandoms benefit fans? Surprisingly, online fandoms and communities can be educational for all members, especially children and students. American scholar Henry Jenkins wrote his book, Confronting the Challenges of Particip Participatory Culture. Students should discover what it is like to contribute their own expertise to a process that involves many intelligences, a process they encounter readily in their participation in fan discussions, with fan discussion lists, or blogging. How are online fandoms detrimental to fans? While the majority of fans have perfectly normal mental health, there is a loud minority with its own set of problems. A study found that celebrity worshippers may exhibit narcissistic features, dissociation, addictive tendencies, stalking behavior, and compulsive buying. What is it like to interact with a real fan online? I decided to conduct my own experiment where I went on multiple social media platforms where music fans are usually active and decided to post a comment critical of their idol and observe the reaction. On the fanfiction site Wattpad, I found an anonymous writer by the name of Full Moons who is currently writing a fanfiction, BTS AMBW, or Asian Man Black Woman Imagines, which are a type of fanfiction where the reader is the protagonist. I commented that their fanfiction was unoriginal, ori unoriginal, and they responded, You said all my fics are the same, and who are you? You made this page a few hours ago, and the first page you go to is mine. Are you a stalker or something? After making accusations, they soon muted me on Wattpad, so I cannot respond to their messages or view their profile. How can fan behavior cause significant harm? In 2018, a 
freelance music freelance music journalist named Tom Wada Thompson tweeted, You know how dope it would be if Nikki put out mature content? She's touching 40 soon, a new direction is needed. As a result, Minaj's followers attacked her Twitter account. Thompson received an angry message from Minaj's account, and her private number was leaked. After she wrote the tweet, Thompson was terminated from her internship on a hip-hop blog, and some extreme harassers even photoshopped her daughter's face on a gorilla. With the shield of a screen and anonymity, fans will do whatever it takes to defend their idol, going as far as to disrupt an innocent person's life completely. How does this behavior affect the music artists themselves? On multiple occasions, fans have even backfired their aggression onto the very idol they were trying to protect. Joseph Longo interviewed several music fans that left aggressive messages for their favorite artists. A common theme emerged in my interviews with passionate stands or soccer fans. Almost everyone who commented something that could be perceived as aggressive said that there are accounts, of, accounts who said something worse. So, how can music fandoms stay safe online? It is unreasonable to believe all, that all fandoms should be eliminated. However, social media companies and celebrities should make an effort to prevent this behavior. For example, social media companies should respond to harassment reports within 24 hours, give clearer behavior guidelines, take tougher action on harassers, and they should be required to report cyberbullying data to law enforcement if needed. Celebrities should also pitch in by, by publicly discouraging this type of behavior in order to improve the community. By making online music fandom safer, they can go back to, ser to serving their original purpose, to connect people who are passionate about what they love. Thank you. Let's see if I'm excited. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, can you tell me what evidence that you gathered that you didn't use either in your essay or in your presentation? Well, when, you know how I was talking about how I was trying to um, do my experiment by going on several social media platforms and leaving comments? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, not a lot of my, not everything I posted got a response. I did get a few responses, but nothing like, not nothing extremely noteworthy. I thought this was interesting because it was like from a fan fiction writer. Um, I also kind of wish I investigated, like there was one of my sources that was talking a bit about like, um, so, like this celebrity obsession disorder that I kind of wanted to go more into, but I was running out of time with my research and I'm kind of disappointed that I found that so last minute, but I definitely would want to look into that more. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, I got one more. Oh, you have another question. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you have for other researchers who, can, who are considering this topic? I mean, I feel like this topic is very difficult because it's not like the, it's not an ordinary kind of topic. Like, usually there's traditional research methods like, oh, you can go on power school and there's like a whole a credible source library and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But for this, it's so it's such a pop culture related thing that you won't find good. So it's hard to find sources like that that like are peer edited and stuff. So you have to get creative on finding those. So don't just don't like be bound by like the traditional research standards and try to be open to like searching every part of the internet for information because it's it's definitely a difficult. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for doing that. <clears throat>